remember our next guest, Julia, who came to us with, with paralyzing pain due to endometriosis. It was taking a physical toll, but she also says it was ruining her life. This is a reminder. When I was 13, I got my first period. She was having strange headaches, stomach issues. And I started getting it twice a month. The doctor confirmed that I had endometriosis at 17 years old. Over the past two and a half years, it started to turn into everyday pain. I sometimes have to go to the ER. I start screaming, excruciating pain. It feels like I'm being stabbed over and over and over again. Why can't somebody help my kid? I'm sorry you've been suffering so much from this. Dr. Tamara Sedgkin is one of the leading doctors when it comes to this. He has a message for you. I am pleased to inform you that I will be performing your surgery. You deserve your quality of life back pain-free. We sent Julia to see board-certified gynecologist Dr. Tamer Sedgkin in hope that she could finally be relieved of the pain that she was in. She's just in excruciating pain. I'm praying she gets her life back. The type of endometriosis she may have is early stage. The procedure will consist of removing the lesions of endometriosis, which we think is the cause of her pain and agony. This part is the hysteroscopy. This is specifically the inside of the uterus, the entrance of the womb. Everything is normal so far. Let's look at this bowel. First, we see the appendix, stomach, heart. Heart is pulsating in the back. Spleen, gallbladder, which is normal looking. So there's no endometriosis on the side. So I'm lifting the ovaries up. There's some areas are very suspicious here, some inflammation on the sides. We are looking for hidden endometriosis. Do you have the blue dye, please? see these white things, we're gonna biopsy them. It's gonna show most likely inflammation. So far, I have found one classic area here. I'm gonna go undermine this layer. You see that area with spots? This is where endometriosis is mostly missed by many doctors. Every little capillary has a nerve around it. That's why these patients do have pain. We're gonna remove this area now. Okay. These holes, they are all signs of inflammation. We didn't see initially. I'm removing all of it completely. The tips are inflamed. It's up to pathologists not to see if they are very early signs of endometriosis. We're now joined by Julia, her mother, Michelle, and in our audience is Dr. Sedgkin. Thank you all so much for being here. Fascinating surgery to watch. Uh, the most important thing, Julia, is how are you feeling? I'm feeling a lot better. I'm not in pain every day anymore. Like, my legs don't hurt, my back doesn't hurt. I can tolerate my period. Like, I'm not missing school. My grades are better. So, I've been feeling better. Good for you. <laughs> and Dr. Sedgkin, we see, saw that you did all of this endoscopically, uh, which is a rel relatively newer way to do this. I mean, years ago, you would have had to do a completely different approach, correct? That's correct. In fact, in open surgery, we couldn't see these lesions at all. Laparoscopy brings it at least 10 to 20 times enlargement of the area that you're looking at. And what is the prognosis for her? As you, you could see, I put in contrast uh, behind the, those layers. I was able to, to remove approximately more than, in her case, I think 12, 12 lesions. Six of them came positive for endo, and the rest was all inflammation. So endometriosis is a disease of inflammation, and it has, uh, unfortunately, it affects the whole body. No, no, but not by only getting rid system. of those lesions you found, you're getting rid of all that inflammation that was leading to all that debilitating pain. I mean, clearly, you know, this is not a simple fix for anyone, but in someone in Julia's case, uh, sort of a last resort, I want to ask you, Mom, mm -hmm. what's it like to, to see your daughter smiling again? Oh, my gosh. I noticed a difference in her personality right away. She's much happier. She is just so much more pleasant. She hasn't complained about leg pain or back pain, which is so different because she's been suffering for so many years. You know, and it harkens back to, you were talking about your book, Live Happy, that you contributed to. It's really hard to live happy when you're yeah. living your life in pain. I'm just so glad, Julia, that you found some relief here with this surgery. Thank you for sharing your you. Certainly a huge thank you to Dr. Sedgkin for all your help. More to come.